Hi, this is Craig for Digital People Folk, and today I wanted to show you how to use collab notebooks from Google if you're making data frames via Python's uh, Panda with Google Sheets. Now, to give you a little bit of background, I'm doing a project where I needed to load data sets from CSV files. And instead of using IPython, I wanted to use Google's Collab Notebooks. And I thought, if I'm using Collab Notebooks, why don't I just connect the data via Google Sheets? So for those of you who don't know what Collab Notebooks are, uh, basically, they are very similar to Anaconda's IPython or the Jupyter Notebooks, uh, except that you can utilize it from your Gmail or your G Suite login, and you can share it with uh, with anyone that you want to have access to. So, also, I wanted to do this without going inside of Google Cloud Console. So I looked up and I found a solution to display data frames uh, with Panda data frames correctly. Uh, initially, when I first tried it out, um, I just couldn't get it to work because it couldn't recognize the sheet as a data frame. So I came up with this. After some research, I found this solution. There's two libraries that you need to install that you may not have already. One is GSpread and the other is GSpread Data Frame. So it works similar to Jupyter Notebooks where you would just do a pip install. So I would go into my Collab Notebook and we would basically type out or insert the commands to do the pip install. So next, we want to start importing the libraries that we're going to use. One is NumPy, which I know I'll usually use. The other is Pandas. And next is the GSpread and GSpread data frame. So next, what we want to do is put in these four lines so that we can authenticate our account and we can sync our Google Sheets data with the notebook. Now, I've already authenticated so with my account, so I, it's not coming up for me. But generally, it'll ask you for your account. And what you want to do is click the link and get the code and put that back in. So next, what we want to do is we want to have a sheet that we can import the data from, uh, a Google Sheet. And I have a sheet set up with fake data, and I named it a variable sheet1. And the GC is, is a variable designed to open up and authorize the sheet. With, and you want to use the open by URL command to input your URL for your sheet, which makes it a lot easier to work with. Next thing that we want to do is we want to make a sheet, a variable to capture the actual tab in the sheet. And I've made a variable called WS to, for the actual worksheet. And last thing we need to do is use a command to turn this worksheet into a data frame. And so I'll have a variable called Boston data frame df and use the get as data frame function 
to and put in my variable ws for the worksheet. And after that, I can just call Boston DF. And now we have a pandas data frame. And on this, you can do anything that you can with the normal uh, data frame, like for example, uh, do uh, group by, and maybe group by birth year. Let's see, birth year. and gender and uh, maybe do count maybe we just want uh, males I mean, so, sorry, not males. Maybe we just want the gender. And there you have it. Um, that's how you can use collab notebooks and utilize a Google Sheets to connect your data instead of using a CSV file. And I'm Craig for Digital People Folk. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe and share with somebody that's learning data science and maybe this might be a better way, more efficient way, um, because you can uh, share your files um, with you can control who you can share your files with the same way that you can with a lot of other Google tools. Thank you.